Okay, so I am not sure this is going to work at all, but I'm going to try it. Um, I have a water slide I printed. Unfortunately, I got a little bit of black smudge on here, but I am not going to print this again because I'm actually happy with the quality of it. So I'm going to take this outside. I'm going to spray it with my Rust-Oleum 2 times Clear. This one's gloss. Um, I, this can's almost empty. I have another can over there. But I'm going to give it three coats of that to prepare it for use. Um, if you use the Plasti Dip, whatever, do that. Great. Then I'm going to trim this all the way around so it's 9.3 wide by roughly 8.2 tall. I will have to trim the top edge after it's sealed just so it will release from the backer. And this paper is actually only like 8.3. So, because the um, Hippo brand, which is what this is, or Hippo, is an odd size, but I really like the paper. So, um, that's that. And I am going to use the TechRap Glow vinyl pack that I ordered underneath this. I'm hoping that this is light enough that it doesn't eat the entire image. Um, I really should have thought more about this and gotten a white to color pack of um, glow, but I'm going to try it. Worst case, it doesn't work and I've wasted a couple bucks, so I'm going to go ahead and get the vinyl on quick. I just have a white painted Makerflow 20 ounce skinny. I'm actually not going to worry about my height that much because I'll probably just use my edge trimmer after and trim everything the same. So I'm going to see if I can get this on straight. This vinyl feels, the vinyl or the backing or both feel very thick. That's going to have a little bit of a hump. <clears throat> so I'm going to try and trim that down a little bit. Let's see. This never goes well for me. Yep. So I had a little bit of a gap that I could try and fill in if I wanted to, but I don't even know if I want to bother. I'm covering it with a full wrap so it really isn't going to matter in the long run. I'm going to grab my edging tool. This is set to its lowest setting, which is fine for the top, but I may have to move it up for the bottom. Let me take this outside, charge it up, see how it glows with nothing over it. And once the water slide is dry, I will come back and we'll get that on. Well, I think it's safe to say it glows with nothing on it. This shadowy spot, I think, is just where the shadow from my spray can was. But, <clears throat> see that little sliver I missed? So, yeah, the vinyl itself glows. Okay, time to get the water slide on. I'm going to soak it face down for a couple seconds. Fun to show you. This is the water slide paper I use when I need a clear. This is my go to. So, when my water slide is ready, we will be good to go. I almost grabbed the wrong cup. 
derp. That's the wrong cup again. Wow. I got this this time. I do want to get it on an arm. It just makes it easier to handle. And I'm going to put that dark piece of the dock over the um, little split there. The little boo-boo. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my cup ready by getting it wet. See if my water slide is ready. I'm going to need my cup the other way, I think. And hopefully this image will show under here. Hopefully. I'm going to try and completely cover the, um, so far so good. I was a little surprised by what color this glowed when we had it in the other room. Um, wasn't quite what I expected, but you know what? It's okay. Man, that worked so nicely. I'm going to set this back down. I call this the slimy side so my image won't stick to it. But I'm going to get my squeegee tool damp and work on pushing the water out from underneath. So I'm going to let this dry and we'll get it under epoxy. Okay, so that absolutely worked. I am tickled with how this looks. So it still needs to finish drying and get some epoxy on it, but I just took it outside to charge it up. Okay, I am ready to get the epoxy on this. It is dry now. So I'm going to put a little bit of my girl's best friend sheet in here, just a tiny bit. piece of paper. I'm going to take the coordinating actual white glitter, the Girls Best Friend Cheat glitter, and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit around the edge of the bottom just to touch up where that white got a little icky maybe. I don't really want it heavy, but I do want a little bit more on the bottom, so I'm just going to like, you know, do the good pinch and toss at the bottom. That's it. I'll let you have a look at it as it spins. And I will bring it up to you. So a little bit of overlap on the back of the decal, no big deal. Lots of sparkle. I cannot take this right now to show you glow again, but it's literally going to be the same as it was last time, just with glitter. So, 
but I absolutely love it. I am so glad this was successful. And let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next one.